What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model, WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to add and use buttons on your WordPress website while using the WP Bakery Page Builder WordPress plugin. So you can create a button like this one present on our Teams. So first of all, move to your WordPress dashboard, Page, Add New. For this guide, we're gonna be using the backend editor, but we can use the front end as well. Just click on it. I'm gonna click on the backend editor. And now I'm gonna click on add element, the plus button. And here we're gonna find a list of all the WP Bakery page builder elements and its add-on elements, like the visual elements and the ultimate add-on. And we're gonna start with the simple element called button. We're gonna notice a section called test, so you can type the button content, the URL, the link. You can copy and post your website link. And we're gonna have an option to add the link test, the option to open the link in a new tab and add a non follow link. Now we're gonna find the style, some colors, the size, the alignment, we're gonna align it to the center. You're gonna see an option to have a full widget button. We're gonna use it later. You can add an icon if you mark this option, a field, so you can input an icon pack, gonna appear. And the advanced on click action. So you can apply some code to be loaded if someone clicks on your button. Let's check the result. This is a simple button, the default one. And let's edit it a little bit. We're gonna change it the, the style to the flat, the shape, to square, and let's check the result, a more solid and simple bottom. Now let me just edit the raw settings so I can apply a padding top and padding bottom. To separate the bottom of the navigation and the footer content. Now, let me show what happens if I select the set full widget bottom. The widget is the entire raw section where the bottom is located. So, this is a full widget bottom. If we have a smaller or a bigger section, we're gonna use a, we're gonna have a big, a larger button as well. And now let me delete this and apply another button. Now we're gonna use the advanced button, one of the ultimate add-ons for WP Bakery Page Builder plugin. So this is an extra element, and with this. We can create buttons just like the first one, but we're gonna have more options like border style, custom colors, custom hover colors, more sizing options, typograph options. Now for the background color, you're gonna notice that you can pick any color that you want and you're gonna notice that you have the alpha section. This set as 100%, I'm going gonna, gonna to change it to zero, so we do not have any viewable color to the, as bottom background, and it, the bottom can be transparent. We have the background section right now. And 
as you can notice, you can even upload an image to be your bottom background. We have icon, style, style, shadow, typograph, and tool. Let's change the style to create a border, a solid border. Now, let me change the typography so we can increase the font size of the bottom. This size will be counted as pixels. Now, let's just add a tooty. Tooltip is a task that will appear in, around the bottom if you hover the bottom. Like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to see the visualmodel.com portfolio of WordPress themes. All the best!